Hey guys, this episode will be joined with another episode that I previously filmed. It will be an Eclipse video, but at the end I will be building up what I just got. A toolbox! I finally have a toolbox, like a tool chest rolly mechanics cart thing uh, that I can have for the shop. So, I'm going to send you over to the Eclipse video right now, but stick around because I'll be building this thing up and talking more about this and going over tools I run in the end of the video. So, enjoy the video. Alright guys, a warm day at the shop. Actually one of our first warm days at the shop. It's like 80 degrees outside, so it's kind of steamy. Might have to open up the garage in a minute. But we are back with an Eclipse video, finally. And we are getting the dash out today. Um, finally today we can actually dive deep in here, get that out. We're going to get the dashboard out. And I'm going to try to kind of clean this all up. So this is going to be the first part that I repaint is actually the whole engine bay. Think about keeping it red, but... Honestly, I might go to black. Without further ado, I'm going to strap on the GoPro and start the time lapses. And we are going to be getting out the dashboard. The dashboard. Alright guys, so we got the dashboard out over here. This thing is pretty tattered. It needs to be cleaned and a lot of the stuff needs to be fixed like this thing right here. This main vent control is broken. Pretty sure the connections on the speedometer was broken because I couldn't get it to work for the longest time. But anyways, we'll be doing some hard work on that. But here is the inside of the Eclipse. Not much to see here, just a bunch of stuff that is uh, scattered all over the place seems like. So it's time to clean this up a little bit, take out the stuff that we do not need, and uh, start out with that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do right now, but you guys will know in the next second. So it looks like it's quite a bit of wear on the inside. These rotors probably are the original rotors. A lot of material taken off. In here there is control arm. Rubber's torn. Needs replacing the shock will be replaced as well as this spring. I still have that other eye back spring that needs to go in there. This bushing is probably shot as well. And the one down there, as well as the sway bar link, are all shot. So, seems like I'm going to have to buy all new parts for the Eclipse rear suspension. Alright, so I'm taking out the headliner right now, so I will be replacing it, maybe repairing this one. So a couple of hours later, we have all the suspension need to be replaced, I haven't taken it out yet, but took off the rear bumper as well, here's the other side. So now... I can actually cut this out, add a platform to it, and have a battery box in this area probably, and the spare tire will just sit right here. 
would probably be a nice little locking system for that as well. But I also do have to take out the sound deadener right there along that edge and above the wheel wells here. These shock towers look really good, no rust, so that's really nice. And also, I took off the rear wing. This is going to have a GSX wing, so that's super, actually a GST wing. Um, it's going to be really nice, so I cannot wait to get that. So one thing I actually want to do today is pull off this tent. I'm starting, I started to peel it up a little bit. Uh, there we go. Chuck that in the trash and I gotta come back with some gooby gun to remove this. And now, the rear window looks like this. Looks really good actually. No scratches or anything in it. So, now I gotta do this other side here. This one's probably gonna be a challenge. Because of how many bubbles there are, there's probably going to be an equal amount of sticky stuff that I have to take off. And also i got to take off this hot import night sticker. I don't want this on there. is my new toolbox. So in this top cabinet here, I have pretty much essential stuff that I'll need to reach like pretty quickly. Cable ties or stainless steel wire ties here. A bunch of random stuff that I don't really use. Pipe cutter, um, light, knife, scissors, utility knife. Allen keys, I'm missing a few. Um, some gloves and all my ratchets. I have two one fourths, two three eighths, uh, three eighths breaker bar, half inch breaker or half inch ratchet, half inch breaker bar. Um, some one fourth size drivers and some of my big sluggets back there. There's like axle nuts right. All right, in this first drawer we have most of our pliers or stuff you squeeze. Plus my crescent wrench, my facing upwards are my flathead, and facing downwards are my Phillips heads. A bunch of random little wrenches to get off. This is for my rivet gun. There's a whole bunch of stuff. In this drawer are all my open-ended combination wrenches right here. Um, some adapters for ratchets, some wobbly sockets, all my extensions, and yeah. I definitely need a lot more of these, but uh, we're working our way to that. Next up, we have our socket drawer. Um, half inch, three eighths, three eighths. Uh, these are E sockets, star points, Torx. Um, some one four size sockets that I have, as well as some one four size that are um, long. I'm missing one right there. Um, these are some Torx bits that I got early on. These are three eighths size. And I have a couple of these Allen key T-handle wrenches, as well as a Torx T10. 
And on the very bottom we have our hammers and other machinery. We have dead blow hammer, rubber mallet, oil filter, wrench, um, just a regular hammer. This is, our, this is a four pound sludge. We have a little pry bar right here as well. And this is actually pretty cool. This is a fold out table. Yes. There you go. So now I have an actual service I can put, maybe I can put my laptop here or whatever. You fold it down just like that. Pretty neat. So overall, I do really like this toolbox. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed some Eclipse content as well as some garage mods. Oh, yeah, that's some uh, glass. <laughs> Alright, well, alright, I gotta probably wipe that down. <laughs> Anyways, guys, in the next video, we're gonna be working in the trunk of the Eclipse, so stay tuned for that. It should be out pretty soon. But for now, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, comment below any comments, questions, or concerns, you know, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Actually, we'll see you. We'll see you later. later. Goodbye. <laughs>